name is Wayne and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about your air freshener in your W222 or 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550. So to get into the uh, air freshener side, we're going to go ahead and hit the menu button, which is right here. We're going to look at the display. We're basically going to keep turning it until we get to the air freshener. We're going to push down and we can either hit the start and that highlights and it basically shows you what's going on. If you don't smell anything, you can always go ahead and hit the auto button and see if anything comes out. And um, if not, um, what we can do, we can also check underneath here, which is uh, which is where the scent comes out from. All right, so to remove this, this piece here, you're gonna need a tool right here. You're gonna come here, you're gonna pry this open. This comes out. And right there in the center, this is where your um, air freshener scent is coming from. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna examine it. We'll even come in here. And we'll take this out. And this actually top actually comes off. And this is where the scent comes out from. This is basically inside your glove box. Now, Mercedes sell their scent but you can also get a compatible version from Amazon. This is where I got it from. This is not going to clog your 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 line for the scent. So um, I'm going to show you on on the um, website where you can actually get it from. And I actually do have a Amazon link to take you to this. Let's go ahead and we'll turn this off, and then we'll begin. So basically, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, take this panel off. We're going to take the glove um, compartment out and we're going to check the lines, make sure nothing is clogged, make sure everything is sealed properly. All right, so to get closer in here, there's a little tab, uh, which is this right here that you have to push down. If you can see my finger, this pushes down and this frees out. At the same time, this little key thing here, this have to come out. And let me just take this out here a little bit. It's pried out. You probably need one of those. The same thing used for this to actually um, take off this side cover over here. So let's go back. You're going to take this little piece off. Get behind it. And do your best not to uh, break it. Because it's plastic. Let's go ahead and just pry this out. Just like that. Pops out just like that. And this... This is basically what it looked like. So we're gonna come here, put it in the safe place, drop it there. All right, so now there's nothing that's holding this en entire piece out. So I'm gonna actually use two hands and just uh, pull this out so this whole component come out. Be careful of the 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 lights on the bottom. Um, all right, all right, so notice what I'm doing with this, taking it and gently putting it in the back and gently coming out because remember this is plastic it will crack and will break if you're not careful and notice how it's coming out of the slot you can see the top of it and this is basically um, so this whole piece comes off and the reason why we want to take this off so we can get uh, take off the glove uh, compartment so we can actually see the holes and the thing that's going up to the um, the fragrance system which is here all right, so let's take this out. All right, so we basically got this entire piece out. Let me just show you what it looked like. We can even come down here and show you. And this is the piece I was pushing down. This whole piece here, I was actually pushing down, which is right here in the middle. So this is what I was pushing down. So you push this down and you take your time. And remember, this entire piece here is all plastic. So you want to do your best not to... Um, and see, if you see the glove compartment, now we have access to the screws. Two screws box apart with the screws. You need a, a hex nut, if you can see. Um, a hex nut there, hex nut there. There's, there's one right there. So go ahead and remove that. And we're going to put this piece in a safe place. Let me zoom out so you can see properly. And this is basically it. This is basically your 
your front panel. See if this fits. And it does. And of course we have one screw down here that we have to take out. We removed all the top um, screws on the, on the side. So we're gonna try take this one out. All right, so that screw is loosened. Right, so now we're gonna get underneath the glove box and unscrew the underneath um, carriage here. I have two screws, I have one here. I have one, another one over here. Take this, put that like that. Now we have access to the very bottom of the dashboard. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna unbolt the air duct, which is right there, which I have it. All right, so this is the last screw, and then the whole uh, glove box will just come out. So we removed uh, this screw here at the air duct. And the other one is right here, actually holding, still holding the glove box in. Let's go ahead and loosen this up. Right. So remove that last screw that's underneath. Now we're gonna go ahead and just pull this glove box out. It comes out like this, and we have access to the hose. If you can see the hose, which is right there, which is what we wanna get to, which is part of the air freshener system. And if we come in here and take a look, it goes right up and there go the holes. It goes right up there, which is like I said before, which is right there. And that's where your air freshener scent comes from, right in the uh, center dash and right in front of the monitor. All right, so let's go ahead and get behind this glove box. All right, so we have access to the holes. We're gonna go ahead and take this hose off, see what's going on. Uh, this is behind your glove box and um, take a closer look. All right, and of course, let's just take a complete look at your glove box here. Bunch of wires coming out of it. Now right, we can go ahead and disconnect this wire so the whole glove box assembly just comes out. Now we can take a complete look, see what's going on. Go ahead and take a closer look at the glass component. So it's there. All right, so let's see if we can, uh, let me just see if this thing is actually line is clogged. This doesn't like it's clogged. Let's, let's try it. Thing looks, looks good, nothing to rhyme. We're gonna, they go to, they go to tubing, which is right there. So some people say, oh, it could be clogged. Well, this is a, a pretty good size diameter of liquid, um, you know, not getting clogged with a, a oil or water base, but um, we'll see. All right, we're gonna put everything back together. We're gonna start with this vent, and then we'll go ahead and put in the glove box, put in the screw that's right here. We're gonna uh, put this lower prop back up and then we'll get to the, the screws out here and of course we can't forget the connectors and of course we have this guy right here so we'll go ahead and we'll see what happens all right we have our glove box and everything's gonna go back we got the two connectors here we got this of course is gonna connect to or uh, vent hose which is right here this guy right here connects to the side which is this little guy right there. So if you if you open up the glove box, 
that little knob control how much actually comes out. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing back. All right, so we're putting the glove box back. Take a look at the holes. It's not kinked. And um, everything's looking good. All right, so basically put everything back in reverse. Come back here. I'm going to put the screws here, here, there, and there. And then the last piece we're going to put back is the center console. So uh, let's go ahead. All right, so we got that in here. We'll come in here, we'll tighten this up. That's tight. This is tight. And that's tight. So the last piece we have left is the centerpiece and of course this is for our um, analog clock and this is for the um, environmental control which is your climate so put everything back and then of course we're going to put um, this back in the box and then we're going to test the system to see what happens and of course we can't forget um, the centerpiece here which is uh, this guy right here so all right so digger or cigarette light assembly here we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the cigarette lighter wires and then um, the bottom of it's nice and clear go ahead we'll put in the centerpiece and then we'll go ahead and put back the cigarette lighter out Set that there all right, so we'll go ahead and just push this back. Snaps into place. And of course, if you remember this piece here, we have put it in here. This is this piece here. Let's go ahead and just take it and snap that back into place that will be almost ready all right so that's nice back in place make sure everything looks pretty and go ahead we can actually put that um, side piece back let's go ahead and do that now i'm gonna put this side piece back all right so we got a little side piece here Go ahead, take it. assemblies there we're gonna go ahead and put back the cigarette lighter assembly and then we'll go ahead and, and test out the system we'll go ahead and just reattach this connector and then we'll put everything back all right final pieces this is our little torque screw just put this back right in that slot all right we're gonna do the same for the other side just go ahead and tighten it up before we get the ratchet set all right so this is all nice and tight go ahead we're gonna take this and just start stop. All right, so everything is, is there. We're gonna leave that top open. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fill this up. This actually opens up. And this, this is what I got from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and provide the link and the details of the uh, video. So, you know, if you want, you can order it. There's many different flavors. Um, we can go ahead and open up this top and we're gonna pour some of this in here. Go ahead, we're gonna open this up. See if I can 
do it with uh, one hand. Let me use let me use two hands and pour some of this this liquid in here. All right, so this is basically what it looked like, and um, goes on top, and, and we'll see. I'm gonna pour some of this in here, and um, yeah. Okay, so we got the uh, fragrance in there. Mine is vanilla, but if you want to um, go to the Mercedes dealership and get the actual uh, fragrance, you can, or you can go to Amazon and and get the fragrance there as well. Um, the uh, fragrance. Let me just uh, read to you the. Uh, it's called the Cabin. Uh, atomizer fragrance and for freeside uh, mood is a 000 899 for the sports mood that's a 000 899 for the downtown mood that's a 000 and for the nightlife mood that's a 000 and um you know we're gonna go ahead and Insert this. We're gonna go ahead. Everything is operational there. We're gonna take a look. We're gonna put this there. I'm gonna make sure this is set to the maximum. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna leave that off because we want to check this, and then we can go into the um, the menu, and we'll go ahead and we'll start the the atomizer, the air fresher, and we'll see if we can smell it. All right. We're gonna put everything back. Close it up. We're gonna fire this bad boy up and see if we can get uh, the smell uh, coming out of that little uh, vent hole right there okay system is started up we're gonna go to the menu um, go ahead and hit this right here and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna turn to the fragrance settings air freshener go ahead we want it on high all right now according to this it's already blowing let's go ahead and take a, a whiff and see if i can actually smell anything coming from that all right all right and sure enough i can smell it like i was smelling a nice fragrance perfume all right so that's um the air freshener um this is for the w222 or 2016 mercedes-benz s550 subscribe and like and i'll talk to you soon